here at Allen Border Field in Brisbane. Will the juggernaut of the West Indies continue their impressive ways or will the under pressure Australian bowlers stand tall and deliver another series trophy? She goes with the pull shot and it's short. Did it go to hands? I think it's Connell at mid wicket. And that might have been another opportunity for the West Indies to get Healy early. A shot like that and then going up and over the top. Got caught on length a little bit there, did Matthews. And there's a mix-up and a chance for a run out. A direct Mooney would have been gone. She has been caught short. Healy getting outside off stump, brings the bottom hand into play and goes all the way. A cover drive of note from Talia McGrath. Edged through to Williams. They've got Healy. They've got both openers, the West Indies. Sits deep in the crease. That's what she loves to do, Talia McGrath. She's got heaps of space to work with. Gets a good piece of it this time, and the challenge is on for Taylor. Can't get there. Get! In the air, and it's that catchable height. We've spoken about it from the Australians. Yeah, really nice from Tali McGrath. Knew she had plenty of space straight down the ground. Get! Feet were used by Perry, and it's all the way. It doesn't matter that Stefani Taylor is on the boundary line. Elise Perry steady at the crease. Gives away her stumps and just clubs it down the ground. And that's past Taylor. Lovely footwork from Elise Perry. And that's what's allowed her just that fraction more time. As the Aussies continue to go after the West Indian spinner. And it's been put down, not only put down, put over the boundary line by Taylor. And with that drop, McGrath goes to 50 from just 25 deliveries. As McGrath, it's the footwork there. We know she's so classy on the drive. Gets the elevation she liked as well. Across the crease. That's what we're used to seeing from Talia McGrath. And look out. McGrath again aerially. And that is brilliant. Absolute brilliance from Stefani Taylor. Perry across the crease. Picks the gap again, continues her wonderful form. Goes to pull shot, does Gardner. There's a fielder out there and it's taken. <laughs> <laughs> Sweeps in the air. She got caught in that area the other night. Perry and Phoebe Litchfield. The other night, that's in the air. Will it fall short? No, it doesn't. She got out of position for a second. Pulls out the reverse. Does she find the gap? Yeah, she certainly does. Why wouldn't you in the form that she is in at the moment? Well, hit with some force, past Fletcher very quickly. This time, definitely wants to go aerial, finds the gap. This time goes aerially on the offside, a lot of space to work with. As Phoebe Litchfield keeps her head down, swings through, swings through nicely. Oh, flat hit, swat, backward of square, through point. To the switch hit, turns around. Gets Nabi, no, it doesn't have the speed or the skill on the boundary line. Line and length. Boulder, looking to go big, do the right thing here for the team. Games no doubt, lots to come. Takes them a little while to get going. Phoebe Litchfield wanted the second all the time, and in that time it took her a while to get going. I think she's caught short. And again, head down, a cleaner strike, but still not the distance. And Henry settles herself. And she looks to make an impact off this hit, but all she does is find Gajanabi on the boundary line. Nine for 190. Yeah, that's through. Kim Garth is up inside the inner circle, and it's got too much on it for Perry to cut it off as well. Is it through? No, yes it is. So it was where I'm at mid-wicket. She might have got a little bit on it, well which... Uh, Gajnabi gets it through, gets a good piece off it as well. Well, the footwork has worked here for Gajnabi because she's got a length 
that she could just keep her shape, just that fraction longer width. Oh, yeah, just stands and delivers, whips it away, back with a square, shoot does well, but not well enough. Duck, get out of the way. And she's done just that. Catch she it. does, she goes deep in her crease, up. Oh, sounded good. Looks good. And gets the reward for a clean strike, does Matthews. Off the hip. Nicely played. Nicely timed. That won't be four. It's almost more than six as well. That's not a Yorker. That is a low full toss that gets what it deserves. Catch it. That'll fall short as it's drilled down. Yorker length ball. The shots just keep on getting better and better from Hayley Matthews. And it's Brown, and she attacks the stumps, and Matthews does what Matthews has done right throughout this series. Yep, got enough on that as well. The change up, and it's Sky. There's an opportunity. Litchfield takes it. As Taylor looks to go big very first ball, and all she managed to do is find Sutherland. Well, in the blink of an eye, the Australians have got Matthews and Taylor. Well, it's a scoop that just falls short of Brown, and the run out has been created. Looks to sweep straight away. It's a very full delivery. Boulder, pace straight at the stumps. It's becoming all too easy for the Australians here at the moment. He's been... Ariel gets a good bit of it too. With A little bit of innovation to begin with, and yet again, that innovation is the downfall. Catch it. Yes. Shout is catch. Phoebe Litchfield just, just that. Yeah. Well, it goes back and it's full and it's straight. Ball is pitching in line. Impact is in line. Skied. One running back, one running in, and it is Sutherland running in, diving full stretch forward to take an absolute ripper to pick up the ninth wicket. It's pretty handy indeed to sit back on the back leg and go up and over the offside. Change of approach from Gardner as she comes around the wicket. Well, it can. Yeah! But but again, that was an excellent delivery there by Nash Gardner and beautifully kept from Elisa Healy. Yeah, wonderful catch by Healy to take the 10th wicket and the win tonight for Australia here at Allen Border Field and the series win as well.